set up some crunches, which is great. So side to side, swing. It's only 10 minutes. One, count one count, and now doubles. And singles. So you're twisting from your hips, from your waist, sorry. All right, and then you're gonna go left to right. Travel, turn, travel, twist. Travel, twist, now keep your Hips straight, bend from the waist, twist from the waist. And you can speed it up, do a little hop. All right, now we're gonna do a kettlebell swing, but we're gonna use a dumbbell. So this is a swinging motion. You want to swing. So you're going down and lifting up. Down and up. So you're doing a deep squat and up above your head. And please don't use heavy weights. I'm using a five pound weight. Make sure your knees are tracking behind your ankles. You don't want to hurt a knee. All right. I'm going to put the weight on your opposite shoulder, uh, hand behind your ear, and then crunch to the side. So round your back down, straighten up. Round your back down, straighten up. And now you can pull your knee in. I just realized I'm totally doing this wrong. I go the other way. Opposite elbow to knee. My bad. All right, other side. Okay, this is called a wood chop. So you start up on one side, and you're going to bring the weight down. And rotate your hips up and rotate your hips. Notice I'm doing this barefoot. You can wear tennis shoes if you feel better. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Rotate the other side. And up. Down. And up. Down. And up. That should get your heart rate pumping a little. Breathe them a little heavy. Guys, you're almost halfway done. Keep going. Call it side wheel. So weight up. 
arms above your head, one, wait one hand, and you're just going to crunch it. Your elbow should go behind your knee that you're lifting. Just kind of tilting to one side. You are over halfway done. Other side. And we're gonna just crunch it. So you feel this in your oblique. Four minutes left. I'm going to do standing crunches. So stand with your feet together. Stand up straight and tall. Weight above your head. And you're going to put one foot out. And then you're going to bring your knee in. Flex your foot. Now, if you're just starting out, drop the weight. You don't need the weight. You can do this without weights. Switch legs. You can't see when my leg is out, my foot is flexed. Just bend from the waist forward. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put your weight down. And we're just gonna do some spine roll. So just straight forward, shoulders first, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the floor. If you can't reach the floor, it's okay to kind of grab your knees. We're gonna go into a plank, watch out. And hold your plank. Sorry, you can't see my plank very well. My camera. Is that better? All right, side plank. And then you're going to thread the needle over and up. Over. And up. I focus on crunching that oblique. Nice and slow and controlled. Now if you want to take it up a notch, so you can stay right here. If you want to take it up a notch, you can lift your leg. Whoa, lose my balance. Plank. Wolf that half that bone gone already. Give me that white thing up. Napkin. No. Love you, sweetie. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. All right. And then back in child's pose, stretch it out. Alright, 
10 minute abs. Hey, sorry for the crazy hair here. Have a great day.